Hello Cancer, welcome to another love reading. This one's gonna be all about your person, the person that you are thinking about or connecting with at this time. What are they thinking about you? What are their intentions towards you? Keep in mind that these readings are meant to be general, so they cannot and will not resonate with every Cancer watching. All right, spirits, angels, guides, messages for Cancer, for the sign of Cancer in love. What's going on for Cancer? in love what's going on for cancer in love king of cups cancer pisces scorpio energy there the devil capricorn energy interesting <coughs> i'm getting very similar energy even though these two are Literally like water and fire, right? <laughs> That's what it feels like. But in this deck in particular, they're both like serpents or snakes of some some kind. Um, and it's almost like they're looking right at you. We can see this is the Tarot of the Divine, I think it's called. And they're both kind of like watchful. So what does that mean? Um, I basically feel this is one person's energy. This is what's going on in your connection, Cancer. So both of you are here. But I'm picking up that one of you, it's almost like your emotions are really intense or there's there's something here that's almost like, um, I don't know, it's just very focused, very like laser focused. Like someone's like really drawn to you or vice versa or there's maybe emotions are running high at this time we'll see what all this is about because i'm getting like strange messages here i'm not even looking at the traditional meanings of these cards um at this time okay so let's see let's let's break this down well why the devil why is the devil here queen of cups why is the devil here yeah this is about like emotions feelings why is the devil here I said over here. Five of Cups. I'm telling you, I don't believe in coincidences. I trust my intuition. <laughs> so there's something here where emotions are, I feel, very intense right now. With the Five of Cups, there could be, you know, regret, remorse, um, a deep sadness. Tell me more about the devil. I think this is going to be one of those readings where it's like a crazy reading. Tell me about the devil, please. The nine of swords. You see what I'm saying? Look at this. Someone's in their head. Someone's thinking a lot. Both of these people have their head in their hands or their face in their hands. It's like, oh no, what have I done? Um, this is someone that can't rest, can't relax. This is someone that's anxious. What is going on here? And it has something to do with how someone feels. It's like it's like how someone feels has taken a dark turn or it, it's become something that is so painful or so heavy that I feel it's affecting someone. This could be you, Cancer. This could be your person. Tell me about the King of Cups. Why is the King of Cups here? Like this is someone that can't sleep very well. Maybe they're having nightmares, um, stressed, just completely stressed, like emotionally um, overwhelmed. Tell me about the King of Cups. Five of Wands, yeah, something has happened here. Some sort of conflict, drama, something happened in this connection. Tell me about the King of Cups. Ace of coin. Well, why would the ace of coin? Oops. Page of swords. Interesting. I feel like there was like a conversation about commitment, a commitment or about committing to the other person. I don't think it ended well. Tell me more about the king of cups. Six of Cups. Why the Ace of Coin? 
why is the ace of coin here the tower wow yeah something happened here this could have been a separation this could have been a conversation that took a weird turn um maybe a blow up or some sort of argument there could have been i don't know what's happening but this five of wands in the tower is like chaos to me page of swords six of cups Maybe this is related to the past. But I have the Magician at the bottom of the deck here. Oh, and the Eight of Swords. I feel like someone has manifested something or wants something so badly. But I feel like it's affecting them emotionally. Um, maybe they're overthinking, overanalyzing. Maybe they want something a little too much. So let's see how you feel about each other because honestly please let me know in the comments did you have like a big blow up in your connection did something big happen like a tower moment um and you know you don't have to go into details but i feel like at least one of you is reeling from that or still dealing with the with the aftermath of of what happened now if this isn't happening in your connection cancer like if this isn't you if this isn't your person um, like if this isn't something that happened to the connection between the both of you, then maybe this is something that one of you is dealing with, one of you is dealing with it outside of the, your connection with each other, but it's still affecting you as a person. So, okay, let's get into your energies for each other. What are you thinking or feeling? Let's break it down and see if we can get some clarity. Spirit, tell me about cancer and their person. Tell me about Cancer and their person, the energies between Cancer and their person. Cancer, I'm going to have you on one side and your person on the other. Feel free to flip the roles if they resonate more for you. Tell me about Cancer. Tell me about Cancer's energies. What is going on with Cancer? Burdened heart. Well, that's exactly kind of the energy I've been picking up. Someone that's literally overwhelmed. You could be carrying a heavy burden, um, Cancer, or something has affected you emotionally to the point where maybe it's been very stressful for you. Victory lap. Interesting. This could have been a very public disruption um i feel like other people know what happened but i don't know why tell me about cancer's person tell me about cancer's person please very wise tell me about cancer's person taking action time to make a move okay We get I get a hidden truth or oracle here can I get some more insight please for cancer and this other person spirit for August 2021 tell me about cancer cancer's energy please oops I feel you leaving me behind maybe this person left Maybe you feel abandoned. Maybe you feel like you were taken advantage of or like something wasn't fair. You were mistreated. Tell me about Cancer's person. Tell me about Cancer's person. I wish I could share my good news with you. Well, why can't, okay, are you not in contact with this person? What? This could have happened in the past. I feel like this person doesn't have access to you, Cancer, and whatever for whatever reason. Um, I feel like they, they wish they could share something with you and they can't. Tell me more for Cancer. Tell me more for Cancer, please.
I'm dealing with a difficult situation. So you could be the one that's dealing with something very difficult, Cancer. Of course you can flip this if it resonates more. Tell me about Cancer's person. What are their energies towards Cancer for this connection? I stay up at night thinking of you. Please wait for me just a little bit longer. I have learned from my mistakes. I feel like this person, interesting, I could have been picking up on both of your energies in the previous spread, where you're both dealing with something difficult that's kind of related to each other perhaps. Um, I feel like this is going to be a very specific reading. Like, I don't think all of you, this will resonate with all of you. But if it does resonate, then if, please let me know in the comments. Let's see. I want to get, um, I'm going to pull a Kipper for your person's, not for you, just for your person. So I feel like I need a little bit more clarity over here. I get some insight into this person that Cancer is or will be dealing with. Can I get some insight into this person, please? Gift. So they want to give you something. Message of concern at the bottom of the deck. Main male thoughts. Yeah, this this person's thinking about you. Maybe they have something to tell you that's concerning. Um, maybe you found out something, Cancer, or something was discussed. Again, because I feel like there was a a blow up in terms of a conversation um and i don't know if it was between you and this person but at least one of you that happened okay so let's get into your energies tell me about cancer and their person person tell me about cancer what are cancer's energy in this situation well cancer you're not doing well i don't feel i feel like you're dealing with a difficult situation whatever that may be and it's affecting you emotionally knight of cups tell me about cancer the star aquarius energy tell me about cancer what are cancer's energies the wheel of fortune beautiful interesting i feel like um okay i heard um i i'm hoping for a miracle like you're hoping for a miracle. You're hoping for something to take a turn here, for something to change. Um, Ten of Swords at the bottom of the deck. Yeah, there was a painful ending here. Four of Wands after that. And it's like you're hoping for something to change. Why is the Knight of Cups here? Maybe you're hoping, well, I'll clarify what you're hoping for. Okay, tell me about the Knight of Cups. Why is the Knight of Cups here? The Seven of Swords, an apology, perhaps? Why is the Knight of Cups here? Six of Swords, interesting. I feel like you're waiting for someone to come to you with an apology. Or you're waiting to hear from someone Someone could have left you behind or left the connection and maybe you want them to apologize or at least figure out why things happened the way they did. Tell me about this star. Why is the star here? The higher font, Taurus energy. Why is the star here? Seven of Cups. I feel like you daydream about something or at least you picture it in your mind. I feel like you're the one manifesting that magician that showed up earlier. Can I get one more for the star? 
I got one more for this star. Let's start here. Two of Wands. Interesting. Okay, Ten of Swords again at the bottom of the deck. So. Okay, this is going to be a strange message. And, you know, bear with me. I don't think this is going to resonate with everyone, but please let me know in the comments if it does. Um, I feel like you're looking for someone. I don't know why I'm getting this with the Two of Wands, but I am. Like, you have your eye out for someone. And deep down in your heart, you already know who you want to come towards you. It's not just anyone that you want to show up. It's like you're waiting for someone specific. And it's almost like you're wondering how this is going to happen. And maybe even a miracle has to happen for this to, to take place. But I feel like you're not giving up hoping for this or wishing for this or manifesting this. Tell me about the Wheel of Fortune. Why is the Wheel of Fortune here? Eight of Swords. Why is the Wheel of Fortune here? What's the Wheel of Fortune here? Nine of Swords. Fear, overthinking. Well, you want something to change because right now it's not good. Um, I feel like you desperately want something to happen. Um, or you're desperately seeking an opportunity or wanting an opportunity. I feel like this is something that you think about all the time. Two of coin, five of wands at the bottom of the deck, knight of wands. So I feel like with the two of coin, it's like this back and forth energy. But I, two of coins is also a card about being very busy, juggling, dealing with a lot. I feel like you're dealing with a lot. Tell me about the two of coin. Why is the two of coin here? The empress. Maybe you're a mother, a provider. Maybe you've been working hard on something, on growing something. The empress is also one that can manifest a lot, manifest abundance. There's something that you know you would make you very happy or something that you wish you can manifest into being. Um, I, I do get that very, very strongly here with your energy. I feel like you can do it all. You, you Maybe you've done it all for so long and maybe you want something to change. Maybe you don't want to be alone or maybe you don't want to continue as you are because there's definitely something here where it's almost like you can't even relax about this you know um maybe you're trying to manifest something so strongly maybe you just desperately need help or assistance or comfort um or you always every time that something gets tough maybe you think about this person and some of you, this is the person that's causing all of these problems, you know? Tell me about Cancer's person. Tell me about Cancer's person. What are their energies in this connection? Page of Swords. Ace of Swords. What are this person's energies? Well, they want to talk. They have something to say. There's something here about the truth, clarity, the sun. Yes, something needs to come out or there's something that this person needs to say. But really what I'm getting is clarity, clarity, something out in the open. What is this about? The Page of Swords, Ace of Swords. What's this about? What's this about? Page of Swords, Ace of Swords. What's this about? Page of Swords, Ace of Swords. King of Swords, okay. What's this about? The Page of Swords, Ace of Swords. 
eight of coin. Putting in effort, working on something, being focused. Can I get one more? Five of coin. It's almost like they want to talk about why they've been away. Okay, so I feel like whatever happened, this person with the five of coin, the four of cups, I'm getting very cold energy. So it's almost like somebody is like far from you withdrawn doing their own thing focus on their own thing maybe they're struggling and they can't really like notice anything else page of cups this is about this is this is so frustrating because i feel like this is someone who has something to tell you and maybe they're coming out of the cold to tell you but I'm picking some I'm, it's almost like this energy that I'm picking up it's like they're trying to give you something but they can't I wonder why they can't five of ones maybe because it's too hard conflict drama other people maybe the problems between you maybe they want to apologize for everything that's happened a lot of maybe is here because I feel like this person's energy is very scattered. Um, but it started off so focused. <laughs> it started off so focused, okay? So this was Page of Swords, Ace of Swords of the Sun. Clarity. The truth. Something being brought to light. Something being perhaps even like spotlighted, right? We have the King of Swords when I clarified that. So definitely somebody who wants to tell you the truth. Um, this is somebody who's very direct. They're not the best, um, like they're not the most tender or, you know, soft spoken type of person. They're very direct and to the point. Um, almost blunt with the King of Swords. Um, but the King of Swords is more mature than like a Page of Swords. Um, they are able to at least be diplomatic or tactful about what they say. Um, and then the eight of coins. So it's like they want to maybe talk about working together, putting fo effort into something. Maybe they want to talk about their job. Um, but I feel like, you know, whenever they go to, to do this, there's the five of coin that showed up with the four of cups. So, you know, the four of cups is almost like um, someone that's not very interested. It's somebody that is um, focused on other things. Um, and the five of coin is a card about struggle, being out in the cold, um, needing help, needing assistance. Um, so I'm getting this energy of someone that, you know, they're too far or too in their situation to really address this. And this could be your energy. It could be that this person wants to communicate and you can't or don't want it. Maybe you've blocked this person. Maybe you're going through too much right now. Maybe it's this person's fault that you're going through all of this. Um, but, you know, whatever the case may be, I sense a block, right? With these two um, energies. And then when I clarified even more, I've got the Page of Cups and the Five of Wands. So this could be somebody that wants to apologize for the drama, the conflict, the arguing. Or it could be somebody that when they do show up to tell you something, all of this drama ensues. Tell me about the five of coin and the four of cups. Where's the five of coin and the four of cups? Oops. Where's the five of coin and the four of cups here, spirit? Ten of swords. So it's because of what happened or some sort of painful ending here. So what are your person's next intent or next actions or true intentions? Spirit, this person that Cancer is dealing with, what are their true intentions or next actions going to be towards Cancer? What are their true intentions or next actions towards Cancer? True intentions. Five of Cups. 
What are true intentions or next actions towards Cancer? Eight of Wands. The Hangman. The Magician, the Fool, interesting. So this is somebody that I feel wants to take a risk here, um, wants to make something happen, something that leads to something new. But with the Hangman, they can't. I feel like there's that same block. And it's almost like this person wants to make a move or communicate, maybe about the past, or you know, maybe they're regretful, remorseful, but there's a block. And this probably is either something that's preventing them from doing this, or you are preventing them from doing this. Like. Maybe you've had enough of this person. Um, or perhaps there's a lot more than just communicating that will help this com this connection move forward. Why the hangman? Why the hangman? Three of coin bottom of the deck three of cups so there could be a third person involved 